Hello there, I'm OJ Puzzle Furrows and welcome back to X4 Foundations where I thought I would show you something fun that I discovered with the Infinity, which is my my uh, my Odysseus Vanguard here with the uh, with the Gorgon on the back and a couple of pulsars that I've uh, that kitted out in various things. Now, if you go to the um, cockpit of this thing and you go get up and then you walk away from here. Then, uh, then somebody else will take over the, uh, the the thing. But the thing that I found interesting and new was that if you press the thing that gets rid of the cockpit so that you don't see the cockpit, then this happens. The entire thing disappears. Uh, you can't see the uh, the behemoth vanguard. You can't see the cockpit and at all, and all of the people have disappeared. And we're just walking around. Yeah, hi, hi, the vanishing person. Uh, I'm sure that it's interesting, but whatever it is, I can't, I can't see you. So yeah. So you can actually look around your ship, which is weird, very weird indeed. And it soon tells you that you're not actually in the ship. The cockpit is just outside the front of it, which is also fun. Now, if you try this out on any of the small ships, like the Pulsar and such like, it doesn't do it. You just uh, you just actually still have the cockpit there as long as you're outside the seat. But on this one, it doesn't. So there you go. That's how you can have a little bit of fun with the uh, with the cockpit like that. Anyway, I am planning on going somewhere else. Obviously, you can see I was trying to get a, a, a behemoth vanguard again. I tried it. Uh, unfortunately, I was recording earlier and my light went out. And not only did my light go out, but uh, also directly afterwards... Uh, it, uh, I, I got killed. So, I restarted. I, um, I've got, uh, the Nemesis the, that we're making. They are all made now, and I have been posting them around the universe so I can go to them quickly. Like this one up in Matrix 451, where we were in the last episode. I've sent one, it's on its way there. It's on its way down to uh, to this gate here in company regard, so we can have a look at the uh, the, the how the Xenon are getting on over there. Uh, and uh, I've got some in other places. I think I've got one over here. Yes, this one's picking up advanced satellites ready for uh, for actually um, dumping around the universe to see what we can do there. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I have been making a new base in Second Contact. It might not be the best place to stick a base. I don't know. Okay. I just thought it might Hello. be decent-ish, and so I sent my uh, I sent my uh, base over there. And what I'm building, uh, thanks to Eric Lydiak, I am building a uh, a sort of medical and food place so let's have a look at that and we'll see it's quite complicated at the moment i just basically bunged everything i could on this and you can see that some of it's made already but a lot of it isn't so i've actually put um habitats on it this time in my previous run through i barely ever put habitats on bases because i just didn't know what i was doing with them so i didn't bother uh as such i didn't have them in this one i've got loads of um i've got several docks i've got uh oh we've got argon containment we've got liquid containment i basically put containment for every type of containment that you could possibly want uh medium and probably two of them uh, and then I've gone around putting food on, there's water up here, there's spice over here, we've got wheat down here. Um, greetings. Greetings. We've got energy cells, of course. Uh, then there's the, the medical supply units, and we've got the meat production, and then some more docks so that people can get to it, it really super easy. And I've saved this design with the silly little storage containers on the bottom that are probably not needed at all but never mind uh so yeah i've saved this design so that i can dump it in other places around the universe i don't know how much it costs it costs a, a reasonable amount i think i don't think it costs tons but i think it costs a reasonable amount ah the estimate they don't need any more apparently but uh but we've i've given them plenty of money just in case they need more than they think they need because considering where i've dumped it which is right in the middle of, uh, of, of Second Contact. Second Contact has a lot of fighting in it. I mean, 
a heck of a lot of fighting in it. There's, there's a constant stream of um, HOP that come through this gate and immediately start fighting these over here. Uh, and then you end up with... Uh, it's all out war down there, so yes. It, it could be a bit of a pain in that they might not be able to deliver all of my supplies there. I don't see any boxes of supplies at the moment. Anyway, yes, I've given them tons of tons of cash so that they can deal with that. Now, how is our little ship getting on? It's getting on pretty well, so let's get over there. What's this? Is this a plunderer? Oh, of course it's a plunderer! Ah, there's plunderers everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They're not happy unless they're plundering. Entering system. Company regard. Thank you. Nemesis. I would Bangor. totally, totally be taking that plunderer, but uh, there's like there's like four or five plunderers around the universe at the moment, and as such, I am just not bothering Junk because gate. if I do that, Sail then I will just green. be I will just be grabbing plunderers all the time, and that's all I'll be doing. Uh, orders. Oh, that's the infinites. Yes, uh, that's fine. Phoenix Ooh. Sentinel. Ah. Hmm. So this is the, uh, I wanted to check out this because I wanted green. to check if Scale Plate Green was still Xenon or if it had been turned into Taladi now. Now the thing here that we see is we, that we see that there's a um, capital ship outside the gate. Now generally speaking, if there's a capital ship outside the gate, then it's probably likely that that gate is still um, full of Xenon. So... We're looking at a gate that could well just be more Xenon again, which would be interesting, because we just saw that the uh, for Matrix 451 was uh, taken, been taken over already. There's only one though. There's a lot of containers around. Hmm. There's a lot of containers around. Maybe they, maybe they have gone in. Let us see. Let's go in at normal speed because that's safe. <laughs> Usually I jet past this place at, at, at fastest speed possible. Okay, Entering so they system. have actually they've, they've moved clean. in, but they're not doing a great job of it because there's loads of uh, loads of ships over there destroying that station. We can see the station in the background. Hmm. Okay, so scale plate green is still officially, by the looks of it, Xenon. Let's just check. Yes, it is indeed still officially Xenon, but uh, that's. Ah, oh, they're wrecking that thing. I mean, look at it. There's tons of Xenon over there. I'm not going to help them because I would get blasted to pieces, definitely. If I'd have brought a, uh, a couple of um, destroyers in here, then that would have been perfect. But uh, no way am I going to survive that. Okay, I'm going to get the other one up because I'm quite tempted to think that that's also Xenon. But at the same time, I need to uh, I need to see it. Where is it? Oh, it's right next door. That's really handy. Really very handy indeed. Oh dear, there's a bit of a, a bit of a, a destroyer up there that's been wrecked as well. Hmm. <laughs> so the Taladi are trying, but they're not actually getting there just yet. It's still it's still all within the uh, the realms of the Xenon at the moment, which is good. Because it means that it's, I've, I've got a target for later on, but uh, I'll have to be quick because the uh, the the Taladi, they may not have got there yet, but they're they're on their way. They're thinking about it, aren't they? So yes. Entering this scale plate green. This seven. is still very Xenon, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's still very Xenon. Okay, so the, neither of those have been taken just yet. So let's get this ship to a safe distance from all of the death around and then we shall go someplace else see you there right so having had a little bit of excitement doing that i also want to check out how the faulty logic uh, sectors are doing at the moment on the map they they show us still sort of xenon-ish but that's just on the map i've not uh, i've not been in there so i don't know what they're doing as such we should head back to the faulty logic area and see how they're Entering doing. System. I should also vision. send that other uh, that other nemesis somewhere even safer than it is now. Get out of me chair. Thank you. Right. So, where are you, map? And... It's good to have those mapped out now. I was uh, 
I'd previously visited them very shortly and then I ran away because that's the brave type that I am. Uh, and I, I obviously saved over, uh, didn't save that particular look into the place, so yeah. There's a plunderer over there. Ah, plunderers everywhere again. Right, so that's going to go there and be safe again. And in the meanwhile, we shall see what we can do. I think this ship was just fully laden with uh, with advanced satellites, so I'll be able to be uh, putting advanced satellites everywhere again. I wonder if that's one of mine that's being built there. No idea. I've been continuing with the research to try and get what we need for um, for grabbing station modules. For instance, the uh, the shipyard. It would be really awesome if I could manage to grab the station module um, blueprint for the shipyard without paying for it, because it costs a small fortune. It really does, and being able to grab nab that thing would be uh, would be so good. Okay, let's have a look. We have research, I and he's finished. Yes, research. all of these are done. So I can actually start grabbing the station modules now. However, I also want to be able to do the mods, uh, not the weapon mod yet. I usually concentrate on the uh, shields first. Very good. I will let you know when I am done. That's a lie, isn't it, Boron? You're not going to let me know unless I unless I go into the research thing. Uh, I wish he did let me know. I really do. Hmm. That's interesting. They are not plasma. How fascinating. I usually make them all plasma, but uh, evidently not. Anyway, we're going over there because I want to see if Faulty Logic is actually Xenon or not. And as such, I'll see you soon. Well, I don't see a single capital ship outside this gate. I do see a, uh, a, a one of them, though. Hello there. Don't you shoot me. P. P? No. I will wreck you. Very much so. Come on. I win. See? This is me winning, P. Forget all of your hopes and dreams, because they're gone now. Right. Good show. Let's grab whatever this is. What container. is it, anyway? A container of high energy crystals. I was told to collect those, but they're good for um, weapon mods. So, yes. We've got those. Now, that that kind of indicates to me that Faulty Logic is still Xenon. When I say that, it wasn't actually Xenon to begin with, because they'd, they'd not actually claimed it by the looks of it. We'll, we'll see what cooks. Let's see. Come on. It takes a long time to drive through those gates. Entering system. Okay, there's Faulty Logic. a mine over there. There's a, there's a Xenon over there. Is this Paranid space now, though? Let's have a look. No. Why haven't they taken it? There's literally nothing here, and they've not taken it. That is weird. Very weird indeed. Now, this is still labelled as, as um, Xenon, because there's a defence station there. So, if that's still there, then uh, then this is this, this is all still Xenon. But the, I, I can't believe that Faulty Logic 1 has not been taken. Hmm... Tempting, isn't it? I might, I might have a go at faulty logic, but, uh, but currently no. Let's get out of here. Thanks for my help. Oh, that was the P on the other side, wasn't it? Yes, I know. I remember. Thank you. <laughs> Some small amount of cash. That'll be fine. So, that's all right. We still, we still have that. Not really too dangerous. Uh, but the, the one after it is definitely a no-go zone. Especially with that defence station right on the border of the uh, the gate. Okay, so now I need to find a good place to stick another one of those bases that I did up there that I showed you earlier. Because I want to earn as much cash as I possibly can do. And I believe that uh, that if I do some of those, then uh, that, that might be good. Because they're actually set up to be sort of relatively self-sufficient. Uh, and as such, I should be able to just get them producing me cash as soon as possible. Let's dump this, uh, this here. Now, what's a good place for a station? Really, I need a, 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 a sector that's got tons and tons of... This has got a lot of stations in it. Just look at that! 
That's got tons of stations. Mmm. Oh, this one's got quite a lot of stations as well. You see, this is the thing. I need to be able to service as many stations as possible. So, really, it's as many stations as possible. Now, how can we tell which one's got more in? This has got lots of stations in it. Just look at that. And this has got tons of them. I don't know which one's got more. Without without actually counting them. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that's 18 stations. And this is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So actually, this would be the best place for it, wouldn't it? And as such, we should put it about there. So can we do this? Ooh, I can't see a thing. That's because I'm not in the sector, isn't it? I believe it is. All right. And I can't send any of my uh, nemesis there because... I'm the closest one to it, so I'll have to go there myself. All right. Let's go there, then. Actually, it's just occurred to me, if I try and build an Argon station in a HOP area, I will probably get blasted to pieces. Or at least the ships that are trying to supply it will. So, actually, we need to find a sector that's got loads of stations in it. This looks promising. Doesn't it? Yes, Silent Witness. Ooh, have I already got a ship there? I have. Wonderful. Let's go over to the Reckless. Uh, if I can get to the right thing. Okay, let's just go to the Reckless. And we're off. This should do. So we'll go over here. Brilliant. And entering then... Entering system. Yes, Silent I am witness. entering the system. Thank you. Oh, it's almost as bad as having no... Yeah, it takes a while for it to log in. All right. Here we go, let's take this ship. We have no reason to actually be controlling this ship, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. And then I should be able to dump a thing somewhere. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 possibly. So it's not the best, maybe, but at least it's not bad. Hmm. And it's right in a pirate sector, so I might be able to... It's right near a pirate sector, so I might be able to add some illegal wares to it in time. Uh, at the moment, not so much. So, let's go over here. And I think it's a 3x3x3x3x3x3 three by three by three by three by three by three plot. Create new plot. And dump it about here. That might be cheap. Eh, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Okay, and let's see if I can just load a plan. Yes! Oh, that's brilliant! That's like the first time I've ever loaded a plan from uh, from a previously existed station. So there we go! That's the exact same station over here uh, that I got over there. Now, let's see how that's... That's, that's 15 million. So that's really quite cheap. Hmm. Let's put it into the 75% range. Because I don't want to pay as much as that. Uh, and then let's accept that. Good. But I'll add a little bit more because uh, I want to make sure that they don't they don't have any losses. So yes, confirm that. And then let's hire a, a building ship. Oh dear. I've got no um, things to see. Oh, here we go. Let's have that Argon vessel over there. You. I want to hire you for a job. Make this thing and make it good. Right, and then presumably we just confirm. Yes! And then we have another station over there, and we're down to 41 million. But that means that I can build another one somewhere else. Ooh! I don't know how many of these I should make, really. <laughs> What's that? Hang on, wait a minute. There's a red one. Why is there a red one? Is that a Xenon station? Surely not! How could they? Let's look over there. That's uh, that's right next to the other bits. Hmm. There's a Xenon station over there by the looks of it. It's somewhere around here. Let's just have a look. There. Go there. Brilliant. Right. Let's see what those pesky Xenon have been up to. What's that? Is that a... Jump gate. Ah! Inactive jump gate. Brilliant. Maybe useful later. Currently not so much. Empty space. What are you? I think we should use the scanner. 
I don't know if the scanners on the um, Odysseus actually are any better than the scanners on um, any other ship. They should be. Technically, you would have thought that they would have stuck a better scanner on the Odysseus than uh, than on other ships, but I don't think they are. I think they're all just um, the police scanner too, and I don't think that they do any better. Which is weird because they could really afford to stick a massive scanner on the uh, on the Odysseus. As opposed to the tiny little scanners that they've got on the other ships. So, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, I've gone into Setter because uh, now that we've got Setter, I'm going to use it. Not am I, only am I going to use it, I'm going to have fun using it because it means that I don't spend forever trying to do everything. Oh, there is a, yeah, there's a there's a personal fighter on the, uh, on the back. I haven't actually customised any of my ships yet. I'm really, I've got loads of different skins for the ships. From my previous game, it seems to carry over uh, and just stay active. So I really want to customise some of these, uh, some of these designs and make them look pretty, uh, and then they'll be they'll be quite cool. I don't know why it looks as if my engines aren't running. They certainly are. We know that because we're getting closer. But uh, yeah, evidently, all of them not running. Great. <laughs> Come on, where's that other station? Well, if there is an, a, a Xenon station around here, it's very well hidden. Maybe they've just taken the plot and not actually put anything there yet, which is entirely possible. I mean, it, they would find it difficult to get um, to get their transport ships out here safely. Because this is a full-on Argon zone, and there's loads of Argon here, so you really would have thought that it would have been very difficult for them. What's this? Microchip factory. Okay, so that's fine. Hmm. All right. There appears to be nothing, which is good because I don't really want the Xenon to be out here. This is a nice safe zone, and I like nice safe zones. So what I might do is I might go take this to the border of Hatikva's choice. For I know that Hatikva's choice is not a nice safe zone. In fact. It's not a nice safe zone at all. And it looks like it's being really thoroughly mauled. Yep, it's being thoroughly mauled by K. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they've gone full on attack mode here. Brilliant. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if the, uh, if, ah, none of the plunderer. Ha, you fool. Trying to take on the K on your own. Yeah. Stupid. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of stuff around. I don't know whether I can take any of that on, on, on my own. But it's worth trying, so let's go! Hmm. I don't seem to be having much luck getting my Odysseus into this... Uh... Aye, aye, that's a transport ship. I wonder if that uh, base did exist. I'm not having much luck getting my Odysseus going into, the, uh, going into this thing here. It just doesn't seem to want to go. Fine, I'll go there the really, really lengthy way. Wow. I guess that the highways aren't for Odysseus Vanguard, then. Hmm. All right, we're in Hatikva's Choice, and immediately I found a K to fire at. So let's see. Has it got all of its various mean points of destruction? Yes, it has. It does indeed have all of its mean points of destruction. Great! Helpful! Okay. In that case, let's target one. It's only six kilometers away. Ooh, I'm getting really close. Okay. This is bad. <laughs> get away, get away, get away. <laughs> I could do a beam behind it if I can get behind it. Okay. Let us turn around. Oh, it's firing at me already. That's not good. Can't have that. I need to get to a place where it's not doing that. <laughs> there isn't a place where it's not doing that, is there? No. Can I shoot at that? I can. Brilliant. Can I actually hit it? Is another thing. Ooh, can I? I can indeed. I'm going to back up whilst I'm here. Back up, back up, back up. Very important backing up to do. <laughs> yes. We are wrecking its guns! Wonderful! Get rid of them! 
Or just wreck the shields, that's fine too. Oh, it's pointing its backside at us. Or its underside. Because it wants us to... Uh, it wants us to... Um, get shot by all of its other guns underneath. Or it's shooting something else. That's also possible. Hmm. Okay, what's it shooting? Uh, it's shooting that ship over there. Okay, fair enough. Well, I still want to shoot it, so let's go over there. And since I can't shoot that particular gun, as it seems to have been hiding it, let's see if we can shoot the other one. This one. I see ya. Good. Hopefully we should be able to shoot that one. Shoot it! Get rid of that gun! Now that we're not moving, it might be able to get it better. Maybe. Or maybe it won't. Ah, it's really difficult to shoot these things sometimes. But we are wrecking its shields at the same time, so that's pretty good. Eventually, I'll just be able to shoot the shields from here, and that'll be that. <laughs> hmm, no. I'm not having much luck shooting that at all. Ah, wait a minute. That actually hit it. Very good. How, I don't know, but it did. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to get us underneath. That's what it's trying to do. Ooh, I'm in trouble. As long as I can just keep moving. I might survive. Right, okay, let's pause it. That's one of those guns destroyed, so let's see if we can target one of the others. Which gun did I destroy? I've wrecked that one, haven't I? It's it's not it's not looking like it's wrecked, but it is wrecked. I think. Can we click on it? No, we can't click on it. Yeah, if you can't click on it, then it's dead. So that gun is now done for, and we can tar target this one instead. Oh dear. We can see another one. Shoot it! Shoot it! Keep shooting it! That's it. Ooh, we've got the guns underneath targeting us now. This is so risky! <laughs> Ah, oh, I can hardly see those. Now we have a lot of guns targeting us. <laughs> but if I start running, then I will die, right? Because it'll just uh, it'll just start shooting me, and that'll that'll be that. That. So all I can do is try and target the the various guns. Move out a bit, would you? Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, now let's see. Can I move around that? I can. Good. I'm still targeting that gun, but it's not the easiest thing to shoot at. Ah, that's that's the problem. Good. Right, so this gun over here? Maybe? Or maybe the ones underneath, because they're quite nasty as well. How are they shooting through all of that? They shouldn't be able to shoot through that. Eh. Anyway, we'll shoot that. It's already lost some of its shields. I don't know how it's lost its shields, because I've not been shooting it. But we'll shoot it and see. Can I move? Can I move? Just move, would you? That's it. We'll strafe and hopefully... Hopefully we'll blast that gun to pieces. Yes! Good! Okay, so that gun is now gone. And we can concentrate on the others. Although they don't seem to be shooting me anymore. Hmm. Why is it not shooting me? <laughs> okay, let's go and see if we can get something. Are we out of range? Is that their problem? It could be. I don't know how, how far their range is. Ah, that one's shooting us again. Alright, let's get a bit closer because then I can actually see what's shooting me. Okay. Ooh, we are definitely under attack. Okay. I need to be able to look at it properly. Look at it properly, please. Yes, and then go into that. Now, I do love that you can pause this game. I really do. If, if you couldn't pause this game, I don't know what I'd do. I really don't. <laughs> Whoever it was who told me that I could pause the game, thank you. You did me a great service, indeed. Right, uh, let's see. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Get out of the map, please. Thank you. I'm targeting something. Target that. Stop hitting me. Ah! Okay, this has suddenly gone worse considerably worse. <laughs> as long as I keep moving, I should be alright. He says. Getting viciously mauled. Ah! Your gun's gone! Now try it! <laughs> oh, you got another one. 
Of course you have. Okay, I need to get those shields out if I can. Oh dear! Okay. <laughs> if I'd have actually gone up behind it, I'd have had a much easier task of this. Who's shooting me now? Wait a minute. None of that, you. I've got all of my turrets set to don't shoot things. How do I set them to shoot things? Over here? No, get off that. Me? Information? Over to behavior? And then stop being disarmed. Open fire! Now that, that should hopefully deal with everything without me having to worry about it. With a bit of luck. In the meanwhile, we will concentrate back on this... Uh, back on this destroyer here and see if we can target any other guns we've got rid of uh, what have we got rid of got rid of that gun got rid of that gun and that gun so that's all good uh, we've got this gun left over here and the two guns hidden nestled underneath which are a pain in the neck however this one is the current target so let's see if we can get that stop shooting me yeah they're shooting that good 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 and this will continue to blast that. Oh, my plasma working on it. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've set this with um, with two large plasma cannons, so it's it's definitely having a go. At Don't you dare get in the way of my guns! Really, seriously, that's what you want to do. You want to get in the way Stop of my guns? I wasn't attacking you. Get out of the way. Go on, be gone. Thank you. Right, now I can continue attacking this thing. And we blasted that gun! Awesome! And the plasma is making short work of their shields. I should have turned on the uh, the guns before, really. It's it's just proving that I should have turned them on before. Never mind. <laughs> you live and learn. We're now a good distance away, but this, this thing is not going to last. This is going to be a pile of dead K in no time at all. So we might as well just look at it and watch it die. <laughs> awesome. You are still shooting at it, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, really, I should have targeted the uh, the those those things there. It's missing all the time. Okay, I was better off shooting it myself. Yeah. <laughs> die, K. Die horribly. Thankfully, because it's shooting that, it's not got its guns trained on me. Which is really dumb, because I'm the one that's shooting it to pieces, and that thing's just trying to get away. Alright, it doesn't stand a chance now, it really doesn't. I mean, I don't know how far I can get towards it before it will start to really concentrate its guns on me. But with strafing around a bit, I seem to be quite alright. Okay, and it's done. It is done. Very good! So that's one more K out of this universe. And I've got quite a few to deal with. Over... Over here. There's there's a good little mob over here. Now, I could take them on. I really could. But uh, I don't know whether that's a good idea on my own. I shall have to think about it. And get back to you in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.